You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Openness to change. Trust is key. In order to inspire positive change, trust makes the difference. Trust depends on showing respect, care for others, competence, and integrity. So how do you know if, you're, if your staff has that? Well, you can ask yourself some questions. For example, to judge respect, do staff members, parents, and students treat each other respectfully and use respectful language? Do they interrupt each other when we, they're having exchanges? Do they listen? For personal regard, do they hold everyone else um, in close regard? Do they, feel, do they care about what actually happens in their lives outside of the school environment? Competence. Competence means do we really believe that our coworkers and our students are actually good at what they do? Do we believe that they actually have the competencies they need to accomplish their job effectively? And lastly, integrity. Can the people at our school, parents and students, as well as fellow staff members, can they trust us to do what we say we will do and to keep our word? Now, there are reasons for resistance many reasons. Some people say, oh, well, just teachers resist change, but there's actually some reasons behind it. The reason for the change is poorly communicated, unclear, or simply not compelling to the group being asked to change. Simply, they don't see a need for it. The change is foisted upon a group without consulting the group or seeking to understand its needs or its current behaviors and systems. This is a lot of times when they feel like, oh, this is coming from the district, or this is coming from the state or the federal government. This is coming from outside. Excessive pressure is used. So there's excessive pressure to adopt it. There's excessive pressure to, uh, to use it and be positive about it. If teachers, or if teachers feel their jobs are on the line, then they're going to resist that change. There's an overwhelming fear of failure. If they feel like they cannot make mistakes or um, falter a little bit, or there's not a learning curve, that's another reason for resistance, for ch resistance to change. The status quo seems acceptable. Uh, we're good the way things are, we don't need it. If you hear that a lot, it's because they feel like the status quo is acceptable. The person initiating the change is not trusted. Either they feel like that person is not competent or connected to what's going on, or they might not just know the person or the pers they might view that person as an outsider. Or, and the cost-benefit ratio does not seem to justify the effort. Now when we talk about cost-benefit, it's not necessarily about money. A lot of times, teachers feel like the time investment that might be required to institute something is way beyond what they have available or what they're willing to give. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.